of St. John Bosco or Don Bosco. You know, in the Philippines where I, I spent my early childhood in the Philippines, I remember there was a school named Don Bosco. At that time, I didn't really understand what Don Bosco was. So eventually, I learned that it just means Father Bosco. Don Bosco. Uh, well, let me ask you, have you guys had any dream, like really crazy, wild dreams? I think, yeah, right? You want to share quickly what your dream was? Or if you don't, that's okay. So we've all had dreams. We all have dreams. Um, it's natural that we dream, and sometimes dreams can be scary. <laughs> we call them nightmares. But sometimes dreams can be good. But oftentimes dreams can just be just weird. You know, it's hard to figure out. It's hard to interpret a dream. Well, John Bosco, Don Bosco, was one of those people who actually had a big dream, one of many dreams that he had, that changed his life forever. So he was nine years old when this dream occurred to him. In this dream, he encountered like a, a, a rowdy group of boys who were cursing, you know, swearing, just using foul language. And he didn't like that. So he, in this dream, you know, he jumped into their midst and started swinging wildly and, you know, trying to make them stop. But they wouldn't listen to him. And suddenly a man from out of nowhere, a man appears to him and says, you know, he summons John over and says, John, it is not with blows, you know, it's not with punches, but rather with kindness and charity and generosity that you will help these boys. In other words, you're not going to win people over if you're just going to knock their teeth out, right? <laughs> but you got to treat people with kindness, okay? And say, yeah, good, I like that nod. Kindness and gentleness and generosity and all that nice stuff. And also, after this man appeared, a woman appeared, and she puts her arms around John, and she tells John, John, watch what I do. So John looks, and this group of boys, you know, these rowdy group of boys, they turn into these snarling animals, okay? It was terrifying. It was scary. I think I'd be scared, too, if I was John dreaming this dream. It was just horrific. It was terrifying. These, these boys turn into these beasts. But then she says, oh, then she puts her hand out. And suddenly these bees, these animals, who were a group of boys, they gradually turned into a frolicking flock of gentle lambs. And the woman says to John, John, this is your field. This is where you need to work. Get it? Do you understand where this is going? This woman, and also the man who appeared to him in this dream, is really telling him, you need to be a shepherd to the youth, to the, particularly to these young boys who, who uh, you know, they, for many reasons, they, they, they were not in a good situation. So this dream is telling him that you need to be a priest, you need to be a shepherd to these young boys and eventually girls are there. And so he became a priest. And so for the rest of his life, he worked tirelessly in just helping out these poor and, and working class boys and leading them to a good life. You know, he dedicated his life to preventing these young boys, um, you know, from getting into bad situations. And he was so influential to them that so many of these boys decided to follow in his footsteps. And that's why he formed, you know, the Salesian Society. So, I have a dream my, for you, for all of you. My dream is for you to live by John Bosco's secret of success of the Christian life. And there are three words that, that you can remember, that you should, you should remember. Reason, reason, 
religion and kindness. Okay? Reason, religion, and kindness. Because when we use reason instead of threat, and when we have God as our leader and our house master, and when there is no fear but just love, well, then we end up with the true meaning of a family. And isn't that what it's all about? Isn't that why we're here? Thank you for joining us for this celebration of the Mass. This virtual Mass is broadcast to hundreds of people every day of the week. You know, over 100 years ago, the very first celebrations of the Mass took place on the second floor of the Glenview Public House. It's been inconceivable that 100 years later, we would be reaching so many people all over the world through this technology. If you'd like to support the ongoing broadcasts of OLPH's Masses, please go to our website, go to Give Central, and you'd be able to support the ongoing outreach of this virtual ministry. Thank you for your support. Most of all, thank you for joining us in prayer. God bless you.